Good morning, everyone. This is a special announcement. I'm the panel photographer. I am a professional photographer, documentarian, and filmmaker. I'm a tech reviewer. I'm a tech assessment and analyze products when I buy products from Amazon. And this product is the fakest, most disrespectful product that Amazon allowed to sell on its e-commerce store. So disclaimer everyone, I'm not sponsored by anyone or this, this is not even a brand, but I brought this for almost 40 bucks. And this does not even support super fast charging everyone. I made several videos last night in front of the park house. And I demonstrated why this product doesn't support super fast charging. You guys know super fast charging is 45 watts and higher. This claim to have 160 watts. So let me give you some context. 65 watt is supposed to be claimed. 25 watts at the type C port here, 25 watts, 15, 15, 15. But in my testing last night, not only this thing charged my iPhone very, very, very slow, but I'm gonna show you another device that I thought I lost. I went in my Pelican bag or my Pelican case and I found it. So, let me emphasize something. This is the Ray Power 60 watt wall charger, six port. So each port delivers 10 watts. And I'm gonna show you a video just in a moment. Give me a second here, folks. This charged in my iPhone and my Android phone much faster than that device that so-called claimed 160 watt. So, what that telling everyone, Let's get into the video. Let me show you what I was recording last night. And I want to say thank you to the Park House for hooking it up, truly. So I want you guys to watch this video. So ladies and gentlemen, I brought this product off of Amazon. It claimed to be 160 watt, but it's not 160 watt. It's not even close to 65 watt. So I have in this cable with support. Keep in mind, everybody, I'm demonstrating it live in this video. This is how you test products because this product has 99.8% fake reviews. Up to 100 watts and it's in the 65 watt port. And for the last couple hours, it's been charging this at a slow pace. But not only that, this is my Samsung S21 Plus. Now, if it does support super fast charging, which it claims 65 watts, which is super fast charging, my Samsung devices should say super fast charger. But when we plug this in, we get a fast charger reader, which means <coughs> that it could be 18 watts, it could be 22.5 watts, it could be 25 watts, or it could be 30 watts. We don't know, but that's just in the 65 watt. This is a certified 100 watt cable. And it's not supported super fast charging, which means that this product here is a lie. Not only that, everybody, I did a video before this and I talked to Amazon. They want me to return the product. So everyone, Amazon wants me to return the product. And I said, oh, I'm not done with my interview during my assessment, ma'am. And I told the young lady that uh, this is unacceptable. You can't sell products like this on Amazon. So what that said, everyone. So back to the products. Let's just walk. Let's talk about weight distribution. Let's talk about the weight. So, guys, I have a Lenovo Y700 gaming laptop. 
that supports 135 watts. If you can Google that for me right now, Y700 from Lenovo gaming laptop, or just put Y700 Lenovo, L-E-N-O-V-O. -O. That's the laptop I have. And if you look at the power brick, that's 135 watts, and that brick is pretty damn heavy. Not only that, you see this brick? The Ray Power 60 watt. This is heavier than this. And that's a 60 watt. And this is and that is heavier than this. This is like a lightweight. This is it feels too light to be 160 watt capable. And I say this because first and foremost. If it doesn't have Japanese capacitors or MOSFETs, then it's not a legit product. And I'm pretty sure that this doesn't have Japanese capacitors. So, why does this feel so light in the, in the hand? It's supposed to be very sturdy, heavy, has some earth to it. But the Raypower 60 watt has some earth and some weight to it. But still, light enough to know that I totally thought I lost this. And I went into the Pelican case last night to look for a, uh, a an extinction cable. I have an extinction cable to plug. And I was like, oh snap, I forgot I even had this. So let's do a comparison. And then now I can definitely ensure you, everyone, as you saw the video, that it was in a 65 watt. It said fast charger. That means either 18, 22.5, 25, or 30 watts. We don't have, or we used to have a reader that reads these fake power banks or these fake power wall of chargers, and this is a fake one. So I'm gonna say this right now on the record. As a YouTuber, as someone that does tech assessments, stay away from this product. I'm gonna link the product in this video description. And I am going to share this, but I suggest that, listen folks, uh, this is a product that you may want to stay away because it pretty much has 99.9% .9 fake reviews. That means the seller was giving these to people that purchase it, can you hear, hear this in money everybody? How sellers get the reviews is that they persuade the buyer that if they give a five star review, they will PayPal back the full purchase of their product through PayPal. And I want Amazon to understand that's how sellers do business and fake reviews. And I'm sure that this, if you read the reviews for this, you're gonna be like, no way. Panda just literally showed us in real time that this is not what it claims to be. It. So, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I just want to make this video to do a good assessment that this is a fake product. I am going to send this back. I'm getting my money back because there's no point. And as I said, everybody, if I didn't lose my other Ray Power Super Fast Charger, I would have been in the game. But uh, as I said, this is a fake product. This doesn't support super fast charging. This doesn't even support 25 watts in these type C ports. And from what we experienced yesterday, it only supported up to 15 watts per port. And these are not 15 watts. These are five watts. So pretty slow. It's these USB ports are like the old iPhone dongle, the iPhone wall chargers that I was just recently using, just a few days ago, that the Parks Department gave to me to use. Yeah, that is what that is. This is a knockoff. And it is a knockoff. It's too good to be true. For 40 bucks, I don't think it's worth it. Don't waste your time on it. Don't waste your money on it. With that said, everyone, thank you for watching. Take care. Happy shooting.